really not that boring. No, we're not. <laughs> but my videos have been boring. <laughs> like, wah, wah. Cassie won't even watch them. <laughs> Well, I watched that one where, you know, Jared and the, the water fight. That was pretty good. <laughs> Only because somebody made you watch it. Well, and it was funny. <laughs> so you want to talk about real estate? <laughs> I'm going to try not to be in my defensive pose. here, like, ow. Oh, maybe if we sit Indian style up here, we won't get bit. <laughs> How's this look? <laughs> it looks okay. I mean, are we all There's in no frame? rules. <laughs> <laughs> the rules of videoing. Okay. So close now. So what I love about and why I wanted to <clears throat> talk with you about being a new agent is because there's there's a lot of different personalities that are involved in real estate. And some people say, well, I'm not a very good salesperson and that will deter them from jumping into real estate. That's great. <laughs> yes. So, and, and I'm obviously the extrovert. I, it's easy to talk to people. I've always been in sales. And so oftentimes people are like, well, I'm not like you. There's no way I could be that successful. And I know you have met tons of different personalities now that you've seen this side of real estate yes, that are achieving great things. And, you know, maybe they aren't like I am. How that inspired you to like, I can do that too. Well, I've met a lot of, like you said, I've met a lot of different personalities, but I've also met a lot of highly intelligent people. At least the ones that are, are doing well in real estate, they're just really smart. And I always wonder, am I up to that capability? Which I know I am, but it's, again, it'll just be getting lessons underneath me and things like that. But definitely have met personality or different personalities, but there are a lot more people I've met that are like you, very extroverted. Mm -hmm. I haven't met as many introvert or quiet, quiet people, but I still have met them. And if not actually met them, I've been on the phone when doing, you know, real estate dealings with Heather and stuff like that, or for her clients. So I have met people that are more my personality and obviously if they can do it, I can do it. But it is still scary because I'm not an extra extrovert, but that's why I want to take more, you know, coaching classes or read up more books and things like that on how to help me out in that area, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, I do think that some people are comfortable talking to other people. And then I do think that some people just do it regardless of how comfortable it is. But you're right. There's books out there um, that talk about um, how to approach uh, speaking with people on the sales side from a perspective of uh, less sales and more genuine um, conversations. Yeah. And I think that's what you're more comfortable with. And 100%. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's nobody, nobody wants to be known as a good sale. I mean, nobody, I don't think very many. I don't want to be known as a salesperson. Yeah. I, I want to be known as somebody that's confident and not, you know, overbearing and not over promising. Um, but there are amazing podcast books, YouTube channels where uh, people that are good at it are talking about it. They're talking, there's playing. <laughs> Always right when you're in the flow. In the flow. We flowed. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and they flowed. Yeah. Good. While well, there's a plane going over, we'll take it. We can't even open the damn thing. Wow, it's a jet. Flow. Right. Realtors always come and ask about scripts and, you know, they seem to be studying scripts. And I think that the biggest thing is if you're studying real estate, then you'll have things to talk about. And so if you ha are in the business to maintain relationships, and you care about what people are doing for a living. So if I called you and I hadn't talked to you in a while and I just said, you know, hey, uh, just wanna let you know I got my real estate license and um, I'd like your business. It's different than if I were to touch base with you five times prior to that Correct. on Facebook and texting and, you know, even getting to know your life a little bit more. If I have been out of touch, maybe kind of Facebook stalk you a little bit and then mm -hmm. call they do and say that. yeah, say, Hey, Cassie, I just saw that, you know, your kid got into track. Like that is amazing. How long have they been doing that? I, I wanted to connect with you because my daughter, you know, Kaylee's been doing track for a little while. And then we're connecting and I don't say anything about business. I'm just, I'm connecting with you on a different level. Correct. And then, you know, as you do that, a couple weeks down the road, a couple days down the road, you know, find out what their real estate needs are. You know, hey, I, I just, um, I heard that you bought a house and you're selling one in, in Georgia. That's awesome. That's exciting. 
Does that mean you're going to have a chunk of change you want to invest in a house? <laughs> Maybe. Right? And so, you know, hey, if you are interested in learning about the investment group, we have an investment group. Um, and, you know, I'd love to share with you the first five steps of, you know, buying your first rental property if you're interested. And, you know, I know a little bit about you making money, but, you know, at this, at this point, um, the more you know about somebody, the more you can genuinely talk about it when that right. takes time. And some people, they get into real estate, they're like, <clears throat> I just want deals. But your long-term consistent business is going to come from those relationships. So it's good. And for those of you out there that aren't salespeople, I think it works even more in your benefit because a lot of salespeople want those quick deals. They want to sell somebody right away. They'll get impatient and they'll quit talking to them because it didn't turn out in, you know, Right. into a lead right away. Right. And so patient people and people with more introverted style um, of connecting, they tend to have longer term business. They might not get business right away, but six to 12 months from now, if they're doing that steadily, they'll have a pretty good amount of business. And that's kind of my goal too. Anyway, I'm not, I don't need to make millions and millions of dollars. It would just be nice to, you mm -hmm. know, be comfortable, which is not that I'm not comfortable now, but to go to the next level. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Is there anything else that you think would be good for somebody that's brand new, thinking about getting into real estate or maybe has more of a quiet personality, <clears throat> thinking about getting into real estate? Any advice that you have? Find you a Heather. <laughs> Find your best friend <laughs> who is everything that you're not and then you are things that she's not and y'all work well together. Yes. Um, we work very well together. Yeah. We that do. is a... A thing. I'm glad you brought that up because real estate, even if you see somebody that it seems to be all of them, you know, the, it's not a real estate team. It's, you know, that person in real estate that's succeeding. They are not succeeding without good people behind them because there is no, there's so many pieces to even one real estate transaction, much less 50 real estate transactions that there are so many people involved. Like you were saying, admin, transaction coordinators, um, and, you know, marketing people, if you have a good marketing videographers and, uh, you know, <laughs> all the different pieces. I mean, yeah. there's stuff that you do that I've forgotten how to do. I mean, I did it at one point, but. Next, you taught me. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. Yeah. I don't know how to do it anymore because I'm not doing it. But um, I'm glad you said that because that's true. I mean, you don't have to find somebody that's just like you to be encouraged and to, you know, get into those fields. And you don't have to be just like somebody else. You've never wanted to be me. You've mm -hmm. only wanted to be no, you I mean, and your best version of you, <laughs> yes, you know? Yes, yes, yes. And um, I could never come well, up to your it, level, but definitely. Well, it's not that. You definitely could. I think that I just started earlier. I have that, you know, feel the fear and do it anyway. Yeah, you do. You know, I have to fear the feel and live or feel. <laughs> Feel what you the said. fear <laughs> <laughs> and hold up for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I think that's a wrap for today. Um, I guess thanks so much for watching. Uh, we're, we will continue to post um, real estate coaching videos, maybe like this, maybe the boring ones, maybe the fun ones. We'll find ways to make the boring ones fun. Yeah. I'll do my best, y'all. I'll do my best to. Get Sometimes. her to come out of her. Y'all see a lot of the serious Heather. Y'all need to see more of the the side I get to experience when she's not got the camera in front of her. And so we're gonna try and catch some of that here in the future. So we'll try. <laughs> see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> the Heather way. <laughs> so let's have a real conversation. What'd you do yesterday? Um, what'd you do exciting yesterday? We should talk about what happens when you turn forty because I don't remember. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> what did I do yesterday? Ford is coming up, isn't it? Yeah. Next next year. Next year. Yeah, I feel I feel the changes already. <laughs>